In this video, I am going to try and provide you with what, in my opinion, would be a good point of reference to convert from a ramp to a stairway or from a stairway to a ramp. And even though some of the information will be from building code books, I'm still going to provide you with an opinion because I've seen a lot of things that don't make any sense or it's just information that other people are repeating from other information they've heard on the internet. So let's go ahead and start with our first example, and that would be a perfectly flat walkway, and they're not usually going to have a problem with that if, for example, it's perfectly flat, but that's very difficult to do with concrete. And usually something like this will require a slope in one direction of at least an eighth of an inch per foot. However, that's not going to be the case for what some of us will consider to be a ramp or a sloping walkway. And the ADA, the American Disabilities Act, it doesn't have a minimum, like I suggested, being perfectly flat. Or if it does, I couldn't find one. However, it does have a maximum of one unit of vertical rise for every foot horizontally. And something like this would represent what I'm talking about. A 10-foot horizontal distance, perfectly level, and then a 10-inch rise. And of course, if we divided the 10 into 10, we would have one unit of one inch going up vertically for every unit of measurement horizontally. Now keep in mind that this is what a lot of the building code books reference also. And something like this can be very confusing to property owners whose property does not fall into the category of using these building codes. Which leads me to the next thing I need to mention and that would be to simply check with your local building and safety department to verify any building codes that you might be questioning. Next up, let's go ahead and double the vertical height height to 20 inches, which would provide us with a 2 and 12 ratio for every 12 inches horizontally. We're now going up 2 inches. And this puts us at about 9.5 degrees. And this is probably about the maximum slope you're going to want to have on your property because it can be difficult to use. Now, I'm not suggesting it's going to be impossible. However, it is going to be difficult. And this is where I'm going to share my opinion with you. I think that anything Thing between 10 and 20 degrees won't be easy to use, whether it's a stairway or a ramp. However, depending upon the design of the stairway, it's probably going to be safer than a steeper ramp or walkway. And this would be a good example of something that's almost 19 degrees or would have a vertical rise of 4 inches for every 12 inches horizontally. And whether you consider this a walkway or a ramp, I'm sorry, this is not going to be as easy to use as this stairway. So again, anything between 10 and 20 degrees is going to be kind of a gray area because you could have longer steps with smaller risers. For example, to keep the same ratio, we could go up 6 inches and then go out 18 inches or go up 7 inches and then go out 21 inches to keep the same basic ratio. And this might not sound like a problem, but it will require the user often to take one or two strides per tread or per step. And this can be exhausting when you finally get up to the top of the stairway. And this is what I'm talking about when I'm suggesting that a stairway like this might be a little difficult to use, but is still going to be better than the ramp. Next up on the list, let's go ahead and take a look at another stairway. This is going to be a one foot and six inch rise. So one foot horizontally, six inches vertically. And this provides us with about a 26 and a half degree stairway. Now let's go from here to a stairway that is probably the most common one built and probably one of the most comfortable steps. And that's going to have a seven and a half inch vertical rise and a 10 inch long step, providing us with about a 37 degree angle. And in some cases, seven and three quarters of an inch 
is going to be the maximum for the vertical riser height and 10 inches is going to be the minimum measurement. But that's not going to be the case all the time because there are still areas around the world that have an 8 inch maximum riser height and a 9 inch minimum step, providing us with about a 42 degree angle, leaving us with a stairway that will be difficult to walk up and down safely. So with that said, let's go ahead and wrap this video up by answering my original question, and that would be to provide you with the breaking point, or at what point would you make sure that you're going to use a stairway instead of a ramp? And in my opinion, that would be 10 degrees. Now don't forget, you can have a ramp at less than 10 degrees, but to have a ramp at more than 10 degrees will be difficult for people of all ages um, to operate safely. Now, can you go up to 15 or 20 degrees? Yes. However, should you? And the answer is probably going to be no.